Divine Perfection by Melanie Barrett What we subconsciously believe about ourselves and life, we project into meaning onto reality, which is essentially neutral. The mind translates every appearance according to one's belief system. That is a man, that is my husband, he is kind. I like that, I don't like that, I am a female, I like dogs, I don't like that dog, I am safe, I am unsafe, he should do this, I haven't heard from that person, I hope they still love me, that is kind, that is unkind, etc. All of this jibber-jabber seemingly creates a solid, real ex experience. Thought seemingly contracts eternal, boundless, free-flowing, chaotic atoms into solid objects. It is just mental rumination, a psychological construct that seemingly abstracts infinite neutrality into meaningful or understandable form. Without a belief, nothing is held or morphed into a form or shape. Nothing is or means anything. Thought can never understand this. Life is beyond the need of understanding. It can never be limited by the constraints of understanding. Understanding is a man-made concept. Nothing exists in its own right. Everything, every perspective, is a theoretical creation of mind. There are appearances, but they are completely empty of meaning. We simply don't know what this is. Nothing and nobody stands out from it to know it. Life's appearance has no essential meaning. It is completely empty and yet full of loving presence. This is an empty, boundless singularity. Nothing relates to anything else. There simply aren't two. Nothing you ever think about. Life's spontaneous appearance is true. Wow, nothing means anything. That is the freedom, the loss of individual existence and meaning, simultaneously the loss of all existence and meaning. Living life to freely appear, its own divine perfection.